Hey guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I am doing my collective haul for October 2019. And I know last month's haul was pretty shitty. I had very little to show you that month, but I think we're gonna make up for it with this month because I have a lot of fun stuff. And we are kicking things off with a huge load of awesome, comfortable clothing from a shop called Hengemata, which means hammock. Now, before we get to looking at the beautiful clothes, I just want to mention that they have three websites. They have a Swedish one, a German one, and an English one. And you'll find all the direct links to these in the caption box to this video, as well as a 20% discount code. Oh, what? They do ship to a bunch of other countries as well, so don't be fooled by the Swedish sounding name. You guys have probably noticed that when summer turns to fall and things start to get a little bit colder, my fashion goes from punk towards strega and I love layering stuff to keep cozy and warm and comfy. Well, Hengmata sells the most comfortable and snug fashion ever. Every piece is perfect for layering and all the fabrics are so, so, so soft and comfortable. They are mostly known for their harem pants and I love the red and black stripey pair that I got from them a couple of years ago. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear those on Instagram. But other than harem pants, they also do other kinds of clothing like dresses, sweaters, leggings, and so on. They are yoga friendly fashion. So the entire point is to be stylish and comfortable at the same time and everything is in great quality, but the prices are still reasonable. They asked me to pick five items, which I did, but then when I opened the package, they surprised me by including an extra five items that they picked out for me. I had so much fun opening the package. I'm gonna include some footage of that somewhere here. You can see me being happy and surprised and like shocked <laughs> at, it, at the box of awesomeness that I got from them. So without any further ado, let's take a look at what was in that awesome box. The first item is a classic, a pair of black harem pants. They are the Lynx linen pants and they are a seriously baggy pair of pants which I am crazy about. They have four buttons at the side of the front which is a nice little detail. They have super stretchy waist so they fit incredibly comfy and at the bottom there are wristlets and in the back there is a pocket. I wore these two times already, once with one of their loose fit dresses over which you will see shortly, and once with a black tank top. They are a great basic pair of harem pants, but the fabric is linen, which means that it's not as crazy comfortable as some of the other fabrics that you're gonna see in this video. They're not uncomfortable or they're not itchy or anything like that. I just wanna mention that they're linen. The second item is another pair of harems in a different model. They are the classic new stripe harems in maroon with black stripes. These are 85% cotton and so damn comfortable. You can tighten them at the feet and again, so generous in fabric. I hate it when you buy harems and there's like the tiniest little pouch on them. I want the massive, super loose fit, crazy low groin version. They have pockets on the sides, again, a very comfy and elastic waistband and I've worn these once and I did so high up on my waist together with a little crop top. The third item is another pair of harem pants. Again, in a different model. Seriously, they have so many different awesome models of harem pants. These are called the Yoga Basic New and I got them in maroon. And these have a softer waist, so they sit very nice and low on my hips. There is a built-in ribbon at the waist so that you can tighten them more if you like. They're slightly shorter in length, but still extremely generous in comfort and pouchiness of the fabric. These are free of any additional details like pockets or buttons. I've worn these a couple of times now and I prefer having them riding low on my hips and paired with a tight tank top or a thin sweater. The fourth item is another pair of harem pants because I can't get enough. <laughs> these I wasn't able to find on the website at the moment. I don't know if that just means that they're out of stock, but they are very similar to the black linen harems that I showed you at first. They have the same elastic waist, you have pockets on the sides, no button details though, but that same linen fabric, just in a maroon instead of black. And again, so generous in fabric. These I haven't gotten around to wearing yet, but like the others, they are great for layering. The fifth item is you guessed it, another pair of harem pants. These are bright red instead of maroon though, and they have less pouchiness than the others. Pockets on the sides, but this fabric, I have never in my entire life felt a fabric this soft. And I've honestly been sleeping in these during some colder nights and I have slept like a baby. 
We are moving away from the pants now. The sixth item is a dress. It is called the New Me Dress Eco in black. This is a very flowy and loose fit dress that is basically just like a huge tank top with pockets. Super soft and comfy like all the other clothes from them and it works great as it is, but it's also fantastic for layering. I wore this dress the other day with the black harem pants from the beginning of the video and then a little cardigan on top and I was just ridiculously comfortable. Item number seven is another black dress, kind of like an oversized tee in the model. It's called the Gabby dress and it has three quarter sleeves and a diagonal slit down the front which gives it this nice asymmetrical look. It's very soft and generous in fabric like everything else. I've worn this once so far and I wore it with a pair of black leggings and a huge scarf and was a very snug. Item number eight is one of my favorites and it's actually one of the items that they surprised me with so one of the items that they picked for me. It is this black and red plaid oversized shirt that I could just cry over because I love it so damn much. I wasn't able to find this exact one on the website, but I think it's their long shirt model. It's like a shirt dress in the most soft and comfortable fabric you could ever imagine. And I've worn this three times already, two times for work, out of which one was for flying back and forth to northern Sweden. And, and you know you want to be comfy when you're traveling. I wear this with leggings. Generally, I prefer wearing a tight top and a loose bottom or a loose top and tight bottom. So leggings are a perfect match with this beautiful, comfortable shirt. Item number nine made me giggle a little bit when I opened the package because it has a floral pattern and you guys know that I don't do that. <laughs> but these leggings are so damn comfortable and they fit perfectly so I might actually have to wear them anyway. I mean the flowers are roses, which is like the less cute flower, it's a little bit rock and roll so <laughs> I think I could make it work. They would look lovely together with one of the dresses or the oversized shirt and I imagine them being super comfy for working out as well. I just have to get used to the idea of flowers. And the final item from Hingmata is one that is pretty different from all the others. It is a pair of camouflage cargo pants. I think they included these to show that their range is more than just yoga pants and flowy shirts. These are heavy duty cargo pants with all the standard pocket details, drawstring at the feet so you can decide what fit you want. I haven't worn these yet, but I usually pair cargo pants with a plain tight tank top. Most of the clothes from Hengmata are one size, which works great for me as a small to medium, but check with them if you're worried about the sizing. Thank you so much to Hengmata for keeping me warm and snug this winter. Turn to the caption for more details and the discount code and we are going to continue with the rest of the haul now. Next, I have two t-shirts to show you. I'm sure you guys know that the actor Sid Haig recently died. Among other roles, he plays the iconic Captain Spaulding from the Rob Zombie movies House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, and now recently Three from Hell. These are some of my husband's favorite movies that he has introduced me to and I really like them as well. And I specifically love the character of Captain Spaulding. Hello, he's like an evil clown, why would I not love that? So we decided to honor Sid Haig by getting some t-shirts with Captain Spaulding prints. Hubby got three for himself and I got two for me. I got two black ones, the first with the classic sign for his business, Captain Spaulding's world famous fried chicken and gasoline, which I got an immense small. I love that it's mostly white and red details on it. And the other one was an obvious choice. Don't you like clowns? Which is a quote from the second movie of the trilogy. Hilarious scene where he scares the shit out of a kid. This I got in an XL and both of these will obviously be turned into tank tops at some point. And I'm sorry but right now I can't remember the name of the website that we got them from but I think it was US based. Next up we have one item from Shein and the reason there's only one item this month is because the rest of the items didn't arrive in time to be featured in the video. Wah! So you're gonna have to wait until next month's haul to see those. I'll probably wear some of the stuff in post on Instagram and tag Shein if you want to see them before that, but since I don't actually have the package in front of me right now, I can't show you the rest of the items. The item that I did get though is a red leopard print dress. It's in an orangey brick red color and the fabric is a little special. It's elastic and soft and everything, but it's got this structure that's a little weird that I don't think I realized was there when I picked the item. It's a nice and simple model of a dress. I wish it was a little tighter over my lower back as it kind of bulges up a little there right now. But other than that, it's a great basic dress that can also be accessorized if needed. And you'll find the direct link to this dress in the caption box to the video as per usual. Next, I decided to get some new winter gear. To stay warm during the cold season, I got a pair of black fluffy warm mittens from a secondhand store for like 20 Swedish krona, nice and snug. And I bought a black bear-like hat with a built-in scarf. You guys have seen me in these for years now. I have two red ones and I decided I wanted a solid black one. So comfy and just kind of funny too. People can't stop staring at me when I wear this. 
The black and red ones don't really seem to attract that much attention, but the solid black one, for some reason, made people go crazy the other day when I wore it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's Halloween season. Oh, and the bear thingy is from Wish. And I also got an Eternity scarf, one of these looped ones, in a fluffy gray leopard print fabric. And this I actually got from a local store called Rusta, which is one of those stores that sell everything. From paint to toys to snacks to deodorant. Next, I have some piercing jewelry to show you. These were sent to me by the UK based company Stretch It Body Jewelry. They sell mostly piercing related jewelry and have tons of fun stuff on their website. I picked three pairs of plugs for my stretched lobes, and unfortunately, they didn't have all that much to choose from in my size, which is 30 millimeters. But if you're slightly smaller in size, then there's lots to choose from. Everything arrived nice and properly packaged and sealed for hygienic reasons. Not all piercing jewelry companies do that, so that is a major bonus. The three pairs I picked are two glass ones with my own text on and one rose quartz pair. Oh, and they also included a pack of silicone discs that can help stubborn piercings heal faster. However, this is not the original brand for these little silicone discs. The original brand is called No Pull Piercing, and you guys have seen me feature their products in previous collective hauls. Those are the ones that I usually prefer, but there are different brands out there. The first pair of plugs are circular glass plugs that I put the words Riot and Girl on, because duh. The clear glass thing is nice, but it can be a little tricky to read the text, and that might be because of the stupid font that I chose, but yeah, just keep that in mind. They're not too heavy, so they're comfortable to wear, and they're easy to put on and take off. The second pair are also glass, teardrop shaped, and I chose these to say fuck you. Teardrops are beautiful, and it's fun to do another shape than just round. And the third pair are teardrops as well, but rose quartz ones. These are heavier than the glass plugs, but still not to the point where it's uncomfortable. I will say though that I wouldn't wear these, and that includes all three pairs, to any occasion, because it kind of feels like they would pop out very easily. These are the kind of jewelry that I usually wear. And these really stay in, like I can sleep with these and everything. So I would probably not wear the glass ones to like gigs and stuff where I'd be moving around a lot, but for like parties at home or going to dinner or the movies or anything like that, yeah, sure. You will find all the direct links and information that I have from Stretchy Body Jewelry in the caption box to this video. That goes for all the items that I have links and stuff for. Let's move on to some fun Halloween related stuff, shall we? I got some makeup, contacts and fangs from Blue Fox, which I turned into a full look that you guys have already seen on Instagram if you follow me there. If you don't, make sure that happens right now. I'll link to the Instagram video below here. I'm just going to show you the products. First, we have a set of fangs. These are the kind that you create a mold for yourself and then can snap on and off as you please. The brand is Innovision, which is the same brand as the contacts are. I picked a pair of contacts that are white with red spatter in them. They're called Virus, and this kind of lens works with tons of different characters. I might actually even wear these for my own look on Halloween. Then we have a white foundation by the brand Stargazer. This I like mixing with a regular foundation to achieve a pale but not solid white skin tone. It actually works great. Then we have a little tube of dark red fake blood. The brand is Paint Glow, which is a UK based makeup brand. And we also have a small tube of liquid latex by the brand Frightfest, which is also from the UK. You can't go wrong with liquid latex for Halloween. And then finally, we have two little pens. The first is a funky face paint stick in red, and the other is a scar wax stick. Both are from Paint Glow. Blue Fox sells all of these items and more Halloween friendly things, so make sure to go give them some love. I'll post the links to their like social media and website and stuff in the caption box. The rest of the stuff that I got this month are all Halloween related, and because this video is going to be up before Halloween, I'm not going to spoil anything. So you guys will have to wait until after Halloween to see all like all our decorations and the look that I'm doing for our party and stuff like that. But yeah, that is it for this month's collective haul. If you saw something that you want to ask about, turn to the comment section and to the caption box for all the discount codes, direct links, other information, everything that I have on all these items. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.